Integrating the newest state-of-the-art machine learning models into your own applications is becoming more and more accessible and easier. One can, for example, look at open source models like Stable Diffusion, or at whole libraries that are a collection of multiple models like the Hugging Face library. OpenAI is now also hopping on this trend and open sourcing models like its Whisper model and extending its API with its newest addition for the DALI API. So to show how easy it is to use, let's quickly build a little app using the DALI API. So let's quickly get started with the imports. Okay, so we're done with the imports. The first import that we have uh, is for our authentication token that I have just added here in this file. So you can just add your own uh, authentication token for DALI or for OpenAI and that will be done for you. Now then we'll be using tkinter or, and custom tkinter for our little app interface and we'll need the pill library for the images and we'll need the requests library to actually get the image that DALI will have produced. And the most important dependency that we have to install will obviously be OpenAI's API itself. So import OpenAI. And to install that, you can simply run pip install OpenAI. And that should be it. So to work with OpenAI, you will have to specify the um, API key that you have stored in your auth.py. Um, and set that to the authentication token and you are pretty much ready to go. Now let's build the little boilerplate code for our app. Okay, so what does this boilerplate code do? It simply creates the little app, adds a little title and we'll add this main image. This is a um, TK canvas, which we'll be using to just display the image that we get from the OpenAI Delete API. We can now already just start the app and see how it looks by running app.main loop, and we can now start our script. And we can see this is our little empty app, and we'll now start adding functionalities. So the first thing that we want to add is the prompt input, right? We want to have a little text box where we can type in our text that we will then be using as a prompt for the lead. So let's quickly add that. So that should be it. This is just simply some boilerplate code that will now create a little prompt window, right? We can now enter something here like test, prompt, prompt, and this will then work. And we now have to implement a function that actually takes this text of the prompt and then applies the magic um, of Dali and just does a API request. So let's get to that. So what does this function do? It first takes the prompt input that we entered in our little window, and then it does the OpenAI API request, right? The prompt is, as mentioned, the prompt that we entered. We will only generate one image, and the size of the image will be 512 by 512. So this will then return us a nice little dictionary, and from that we'll just get the URL, and then we'll just request the URL, and then open it using the pill image function, convert that to a TK image, and then finally display it in our main label. That's it. That's really simple and easy. Now, this doesn't do anything at the moment, so we have to implement a button that then triggers this function, and we'll now quickly get to that. Okay. I believe this should work. We just added the button, some styling. The command that we will apply when clicking the button is this apply magic button. Um, and we placed it, yeah. Oh, by the way, and this global TK image, I don't know why, but when creating or adding the image to our main image, um, it just is buggy and doesn't work. Although uh, we really need to specify this as a global variable. so. I think this should now work and we can actually start the app and 
well, that's kind of awkwardly placed, but that should be no problem. And now we can enter a prompt. For example, final stage of, final stage of humanity. Apply magic. Please work. Please work. Okay, okay, it doesn't work obviously because I don't, I haven't provided my API key, so I'll just do that without showing you. Give me a second. Okay, now it should work. So please work. Okay. So final stage of humanity. Kind of drastic. Okay, it's working. And ta-da! Wow, so dystopian. Good. I, I want another one. Okay, so humanity is going down a dark hole. This doesn't seem <laughs> very nice, but I guess, I guess that should be it. That is the main functionality. We have a little nice interface where you can enter a prompt, quick, uh, press a button and we get a response from Dali. You know what? Since this is a very cool image, uh, I think it would be nice to also save the images. So you know what? Let's not quite end it here and quickly add another button to save the image. Give me a second. Okay, I think this should be it. Let's again run the app. Okay, now it looks prettier, right? It's symmetric. Um, let's see if this time we get something more that one will wish to look forward to. Uh, okay, loading, loading, loading. It seems to still work. We haven't broken anything. Uh, this happens way too often. Okay, yeah. This, this prompt, the AI somewhat thinks that we are going into a pretty dark future. Looking through a hole into the sun, hole all alone, all gray, muted. Yeah, nevertheless, cool image. Let's save the image. I hope that this uh, worked. Okay, there it is. The cute little image. Nice. That's something one can be happy about, right, when thinking about the future. So what did we actually do? I didn't go over the code. We simply copy pasted the button, placed it in a on another location and uh, changed the text and have now provided the command save image. Uh, the command save image just again takes the prompts and replaces the spaces with a underscore um, to just for a better naming convention. Then we created a little image directory where we will save the image and we made our image that we actually get and open as a global variable so we can just save it here to make it more convenient um and yeah okay you know what let's 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 quickly run the app again for one last time um oh it's still open my bad so here it is and let's enter something more fun For example, something like that, <laughs> very spontaneous. Okay, that's, that's a bit more complicated. Okay, yeah, now that's something much more nice to look at, right? So let's end this here. I believe this is really the boilerplate code that you need to get this app running. It is just the base functionality of generating an image with some text prompt, which is nothing new. It's just using the new beta version of this Dali API, which can do much more, in fact. Let's quickly look at the documentation. Um, something, well, that this was just the generation of images, right? It can also edit images, as you know. There's also an API for that. It's a bit more tricky to implement in, a, in this app, for example, or I believe. And there's also just to a option to create a variation where you provide a image and then just let Dali create a variation of that image. So there's a lot that you can do. And if you want to do that, I will leave the code for this app in particular in my GitHub and I will link, leave the link to that GitHub repository down below so we can just take that and extend it. But yeah, I believe that would be it for this video. I hope it's not too long again. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, 
don't forget to like this video. It helps me out tremendously. If you want to see future cool little projects like this, then consider subscribing. And yeah, enjoy machine learning. And with that said, as always, thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.